say I make you nervous A tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way You think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same This is Sims Felon. Welcome to episode 4 of The Sims 4 Finding Mermaid. We are picking up right where we left off in the previous episode with Shimmer trying to check out this vending machine and see what sort of things she could possibly purchase and make use of. Now, she doesn't have a whole lot of money. She's got 100, not 100, 1,719 simoleons, which means she's really running short on stuff to kind of enjoy life with which is not her primary goal at this stage. She's trying to find mermaids that she can sell them off and then have a fun life. But she did in the previous episode join the conservationist career. She's a wildlife enthusiast, makes 14 simoleons an hour and works from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So <laughs> she does not have a whole, I mean, her energy is actually pretty good. So I guess she'll be fine to go to work at eight. But we were looking at some beach supplies and I kind of want to continue that in this episode just because we rushed over it in the previous one and I actually want to go through slower and see if there's anything that we could possibly purchase. Now a lot of these things are pretty much around the world so I don't feel obligated to purchase them. However, I do want to buy a couple of coconuts and just see if we can do anything with that. The beach towels... Um, I don't mind going to the beaches for them, but I guess it would be nice to own a beach towel. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, it actually would be quite nice. So, I guess we could buy Cabana Juan's luxury beach towel. Could buy one of these. Yeah. And, oh, oh, oh. But then we have a discount beach towel. The discount beach towel is the one I want. Okay. And, um, that way, wherever we are, we're able to at least and get the suntan that we want. And these canoes are expensive as hell, so we're not gonna do anything with that. Cover roots, we've seen some throughout Solani, and ooh, pineapples. We've seen some of those as well. I haven't seen a coconut tree, which is why I bought the coconut, so maybe we can try planting it back where she um, lives and see if anything comes of that. We don't need a floda, there's some taro roots. We don't need any fish traps because we don't have a fishing career. Uh, I would prefer to use the ones that we had throughout the world. So, okay, 46 simoleons, that seems like a pretty good purchase. I'm going to take her right back home. She needs to tend to her needs. Actually, do we have someone at... Hold on a second. Is anyone tending to the... Nope, no one's tending to this place, which I'm assuming is closed. So, she'll probably have to cook herself something up. Which is fine, which is fine. Okay, let's put the walls down. She's got to use the bathroom, cook something up. This is the first time she's actually cooking herself a meal, which is fine. Okay, she's going to have breakfast. I guess eggs on toast is what she wants to have. Completely fine with me. Now, just quickly, I want to have a look. Is there any new recipes that comes with Solani that's not kind of part of um, the stalls? No, nope, doesn't seem like it. And we did have the vegetable, the tropical vegetable platter, which hopefully means she should be able to make this herself. Unless we can't. It would be cool if she could. That was the case. Then, yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. I guess she can't make that, which kind of sucks. But okay, seems as though she cannot. Oh well, we can worry about some other stuff. And she also needs to change out of her swimsuit. Ah, okay, we'll get her to change into her everyday outfit. That would be quite nice. It's warm. It's not too hot, so she's not really going to change into her, like, hot outfit, wear, whatever it is. Which is completely fine. Completely fine. So, it's really nice to see that um, Shim is being really, like, endeared to you guys, even though she's an absolute brat. Ah, she's evil and she's going around being mean to people and making enemies with them. But it's nice to know that you guys adore her, because that, that makes me happy. Okay. 
I'm sure she's trying in her own way. Maybe it's the fact that she's a conservationist that is making her really dear to you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I would think that that's, that's what it is. Isn't this just beautiful? Like making breakfast with a scene like this when you can just look outside and see what is lapping onto the beach. That is just truly beautiful. I love these windows that came with Island Living. It looks so, so cool. And these doors, the sliding doors, oh, that's so cool. Ah, I'm getting so many cool ideas with all of these, which I am going to keep to myself, of course. But it's so nice to be able to see the reef outside through the doors and the windows. It's just beautiful. Okay, she's had a meal. Good. So what I wanted to do, guys, um, we could... Uh, oh, she could just get a suntan out here. Hey, that would work. She could get a suntan out here. Oh, look at that. She could get a suntan on the deck. Seriously. She could just get the suntan on the deck. Wow. Okay. Well, I think I want her to do that. I think I want her to try and get a suntan on the deck. Although we aren't exactly in the sun. Probably would be if we put the beach towel down here somewhere. But I don't think it'll be fun have a suntan next to the trash can so let's not do that maybe out here because I actually see a bit of sunlight so it wouldn't make sense to get a suntan all the way back here so let's oh before anything was in there like a yeah I wanted her to blow the conch she's gonna blow the conch and then hopefully the sun's gonna be nice and bright by the time we get back searing with heat and some burning energy and then we're gonna come back, get a suntan. Hopefully she gets burnt because we have been wanting to get it. Oh, not burnt, but we've been wanting to get a suntan for a while. And then once that is done, I actually want to go exploring with her. Oh. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, so if you blow the conch, do you claim it? Wow. Oh! It's worth 400. Okay, let's put this in inventory. Wow, that is so cool. So this is definitely a way she could make money. It seems as though every day or every couple of days, if we come out onto the beach, there's a bunch of shells that we can collect, which is awesome. She can make money with this. And there's another little, little shell. Forgive me while I get distracted collecting shells, everyone. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you guys don't mind, but wow, that is so cool. That is definitely a way she could make money as a conservationist. And we could just say that she's not exactly taking the shells for profit. She's doing some research. Oh, oh, can we work from home, please? I love working from home. Okay, because that way we actually have freedom to do a bunch of things uh, after we wrap up whatever our assignments are. So that's pretty cool. I think we're going to be done with shell collecting after that. We've got a few shells over here to collect. Look at that, that's so cool. It's not glitched because I can kind of see them laid onto each other. Oh, maybe this one's glitched. Is this glitched? No, it's not. There was just a bunch of shells over here. Okay, nice to see. Wow, okay, so we can definitely make money off these shells. Now, what does she need to do for work? She needs to research conservation. Ooh, and survey wildlife at Moor Pearl Arm. Oh, that's so cool. Survey the tropical plants, waterfall, <gasps> cave algae or fishing spots at Moor Pearl Arm. I love that. Research conservation. Okay, we're going to rush back home. And I think the order of things we are going to do, um, is this Pearl Arm? I don't know. Are we in Pelham? Just let me check super quick, guys. It's going to take me a while to get used to these lo uh, locations. But if this is Pelham, then we can go ahead and survey something over here pretty soon. Yeah, we can survey the fishing spot or the wildlife. I wonder, can you survey the seagulls? Can you? No, you can't survey the seagulls. Maybe you can survey... Is there like a, a plant nearby that we could survey perhaps? I don't know. We'll see. That's on Ollie. 
Ah, Moor Palam is over here where we wanted to go explore anyway. So that'll actually be an awesome progression of our day. So let's go and research some conservation. And then we'll get a suntan for the day. Just a little bit of a break before we go ahead and survey some wildlife at Moor Palam. And then we'll head off and see what we can get done there, right? That'll be pretty cool. If we're lucky, we might even come across some dolphins. So last time we actually had a bunch of, oh look like this, like this, we had dolphins, dolphins, hold on a second, dolphin, we had some dolphins in this area, see we could call over dolphin if we're in the ocean, I'm kind of tempted to jump in now because I wanted, I want to see those dolphins, ah but we have a work assignment, this happened last time as well, well if the dolphins escape and we're not able to go play with them, I'll, we can always go and check out Noah Palm and see if there's any dolphins over there. But let's get her to rush on through. That's giving her logic skill, which is nice to see. And yep, just as I suspected, the dolphins have left. Every single time, whenever we're about to do some, like, <laughs> researching wildlife conservation, the dolphins come out, and by the time we're done, they leave, which makes me sad. But we need to get a suntan. Maybe even check up on this fish trap pretty soon. Oh no! Oh, that sucks. I wanted to check. Well, darn it. I wanted to check to see if, like, we got any fish, but it seems as though we didn't. Okay, well, she is feeling a tad bit tired and snoozy, but why don't you sunbathe in your current outfit? Oh, look at that. It's quite hot. This is a um, warm outfit, by the way. Doesn't she look cute? Love it. Okay, so, oh, this gets her energy up as well. This is wonderful. She's going to sunbathe, have a little bit of a rest, get her energy up, hopefully get a suntan. And then we can, we can go to Moapel Arm and see what she gets up to there. But oh, look at this. Sunbathing on the deck. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't we love it? And what does she want to do this episode? She wants to make another enemy. Well, I think we can wait until we come across someone that we can make enemies with. Then I totally wouldn't mind going ahead and doing that. What's this? Oh, this is the wildlife. Ah, so this is how we come and survey. Are those penguins? I don't know what they are. They're so cute. The bird, no, the birds. They're the seagulls. Ah, I see, I see, I see. What about down here? Oh, some more shells. Conches, they're worth like 400 each. She could definitely make a living of these, like off these seashells. Oh, that's awesome. So how's she doing? Oh, there we go. You getting a suntan? I, I mean, she's sunbathing. I don't know if she's getting a suntan or not. And it seems as though, so oh, yeah, it seems as though someone keeps coming and taking the fish. Now, I haven't caught anyone doing it, but it seems as though someone is doing it. So, I don't know. I see some fish in there. We might come ahead and just check the trap before we leave. Although I don't think there's going to be a whole heap of fish there just because we checked like a few seconds ago and that trap definitely didn't have fish in it. So let's brush this on a little bit and see if she gets the suntan that we've been waiting for. Oh, she's about to get burnt. She's starting to burn. Okay, does this count as a suntan? When do we know we, we got a suntan? I don't know. Oh, look, she's starting to burn. You can see that. <laughs> she's starting to burn. Normally this moodlet scares the crap out of me because I have it when I'm playing my vampires and it usually means you're about to get set on fire and then die. So that gets me really nervous. But I think when they mean burn, they mean she's just going to get a nasty sunburn. So let's rush this on a little bit and see what ends up happening. Uh-oh. She's burning. Her skin is officially burnt. Any more of this can't, it really can't be healthy. I just want a suntan, please. Now, does suntan, sunburnt, 
Ouch, Shimmer stayed out in the sun too long now. She looks like a lobster, no touching. Okay, she is sunburnt. Does that count? Okay, that's... So she got sunburnt, but she didn't get a suntan. Now, how do you get a suntan? So do you have to... Hmm. I see how I might be doing things wrong. Okay, get out of the sun, you silly Billy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> she looks ridiculous. Look at her. So, if I want to get a suntan, do I have to get sunscreen? Okay, so I have to apply skin protection, which I don't know where I can get that from, but I have to find it somewhere. I need to apply skin protection and then stay out for ages and get sun tint. I'm assuming is how this is going to work. Okay. She wants to relax again. No, you're sunburnt. What are you doing? No, you're going to be sunburnt for three hours. Get out of the sun, you silly. She's going to get out of the sun. I want to check the trap for fish just so we can see how that works. This guy looks like a hunk. Okay, and he is a neighbor. We're going to go ahead. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> At least staying out in the sun doesn't mean she's going to continue getting sunburned. It's just if she's relaxing out there. Extra food! Oh, the neighbors around here like to cook. So when they heard you hadn't had a substantial meal in a while, they decided to bring over some extra food. Oh, that's so sweet! Okay, there's no fish in the trap yet. But the neighbors have some extra food. Ooh, this hunk came to give us extra food. Let's invite the neighbor in. Well, we were supposed to do something else, but if he got some extra food for us, well, we have to invite him in, don't we? We can't be mean to our neighbors, although she does want to make an enemy. So I don't know. Is she going to make an enemy with her neighbor? That's typically not the best thing to do. Hmm. We'll have to see how this works out. He does look very cute, though. I don't know. From what I can see, he looks very cute. It looked like you could do with some food. So we thought we would drop by if you wanted some. We had plenty of extra food to share. Oh, that's so sweet. What did they bring? <gasps> they brought some Kahlua pork. Oh, that's nice. Now, who's this? This is Leah. <laughs> uh, Kiala. And we have Liliana. Nice. Okay, so that's sweet. We have some pretty nice people in here. She seems to not like Liliana. So, we're going to make Liliana our enemy because out of everyone, she seems to not like her the most. So, let's complain about problems. Let's... Oh, she's good. Oh, she's good. Let's um, go ahead and dismiss goodness. She's going to go crazy on her. Mm -hmm. She's going to go crazy. You guys have seen this episode before. As in this episode of her personality. But, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just go all out. Oh, spread awareness. I don't think this is how you spread awareness. But she is going to mock her outfit, tell her she's not looking too great, insult her, of course. Oh goodness. You know, it would really make my day if Shima wanted to do something other than be enemies with people, like make friends with someone. She's been on this island for how many years now and she hasn't made a single friend. Okay, well you're not going to thank her for coming now. Um, let's brush off. Ooh, all nighter. She has stayed awake for 24 hours, apparently. Um, let's go ahead and imply her mother is a llama, which would be awkward if... Nope, her mother is not Kiala, thank goodness. None of the ladies here are related. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, we could fight. Do we want to fight, though? Yes, we're gonna fight. <laughs> we are going to get into yet another fight. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. She has a bad reputation. Ah, why am I surprised? I'm not even surprised. She has a bad reputation. No! I guess she won't be finding friends until she finds someone just as mean as her. Which makes me really sad, but seems as though that is the order of things. Oh, goodness. In her house. She fought in her front yard on the first day, and now she's brought the fight into her house. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. This is not what I was expecting for today. I was hoping to do some surveying, some conservation work, but apparently not. And she seems like a tough gal. In both the fights she has um, gotten into, she has managed to beat both the ladies. And now she's going to declare Liliana her enemy. 
Which isn't a great way to be going about things, but that is the way that she wants to go about them. Ah, goodness gracious. It makes her happy. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, this just makes her happy. <laughs> it just makes her happy to be like this. Okay, she needs to go use the bathroom. She's gonna pee like a champion, yes, because she's feeling great. And then maybe have a bath. And go grab some of this pork to eat. Let's grab a serving. And she's feeling tired, so I really don't know how much of work she can get done. But I am hoping maybe in the next episode we'll be able to do some of that serving that I really desperately wanted to do. Maybe even after we're done we might be able to plant a coconut because I was hoping that we could do that. I really wanted to plant a coconut. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah! So in the next episode we can definitely try eating some coconuts and planting some coconuts. And obviously the conservation work, which is pending. But anyways, guys, with that said and done, I am going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.